One of my favorite things to order at a cafe whenever I go out for brunch or lunch or breakfast is to order a acai bowl. And I just love when they give you the thick, creamy acai. I don't like that smoothie, runny acai. Nah, it's gotta be thick and creamy for my taste. So I thought I'd start recreating my own version of acai at home as one, it's so much cheaper and I can make it whenever I like rather than writing down to my nearest cafe to order one. And two, I can make it as thick and creamy as I like. So I thought I'd share my how-to for making thick, creamy acai bowls every time. So to make the acai today, I'll be using acai powder rather than the frozen acai puree as it's the only plastic-free acai I could find. I source it from my local bulk food store, the Source Bulk Foods, and I keep the powder stored in a glass jar in my cupboard for when I'm craving acai. To make it super thick and creamy, you'll want to add as little liquid as possible. Sometimes you may even get away with using no liquid at all, but it just depends on your blender. This is where a good high speed blender comes in handy. I found a Vitamix works best for this, and I've not been able to make my own acai until I recently was gifted this Vitamix, so it's just totally been a game changer for me. Also, using frozen banana will help you achieve that thick acai bowl consistency. Blended frozen banana is key to getting that beautiful thickness that you just can't replicate with ice or using fresh banana. Some of my favorite toppings to use on acai bowls or any sort of smoothie bowl really is fresh mango, banana, strawberries, passion fruit, lychee, raw shredded coconut, blueberries, chocolate chips, and granola. The full recipe for this acai bowl today will be linked in the description below for you guys so you can check it out there. But to make this acai bowl, all you'll need to do is add all the ingredients to a high speed blender and blend and mash repeatedly until you see a thick creamy swirl start to form. Now when making acai, if you want it to be really thick and creamy, mashing is really important. You'll just have to keep stopping the blender, mashing it down, blending it again, stopping it, mashing it and just keep repeatedly doing that until you can blend up all the ingredients together and it creates a lovely smoothie type consistency. Once smooth and thick, just pour the acai into two bowls or your favorite glass jars and top with your favorite toppings. Today I used mango which I cut into diamond shapes which I think looks so pretty and then I just cut that off because the mango was too big to use just that whole slice to place on top of the smoothie bowl today so I had to cut off the mango chunks and I also used some cashews as I was out of granola. I topped it with some frozen blueberries as I didn't have any fresh on hand. The trick with cutting banana is to cut it at an angle so diagonal rather than side on as it's much easier to place and spread on your top of your acai bowl. Also as lychee season has just passed they were out at the store so I picked up some passion fruit and just placed a half on top of that just to give it an extra bit of sweetness and oh my gosh so good. And that's how you make your own version of a cafe style acai bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Feel free to experiment and change up the toppings or change up the ingredients used in the acai as much as you like. You can even add frozen strawberries in rather than frozen blueberries. It's up to you. Otherwise, I thank you so much for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and how to on making thick creamy acai. Do let me know if you try it out yourself. I'd love to hear what you think and I hope to see you again soon in my next video. Bye.